Hi, my name is Fred Carlson. I'm an artist and builder of stringed musical instruments. And I wanted to take a minute to tell you about this instrument I've built called Taproot. Taproot is an instrument that I call a harp simpitar. Basically that means it's a guitar with a lot of extra strings. The main guitar part, the neck, is a six string baritone steel string acoustic guitar. 28 inch string length, so it's tuned a fourth or fifth lower than a standard guitar. This is tuned down to A now. The main neck has 24 frets, and the top 12 frets, these here, have the wood between each fret scooped away or scalloped, so they're called scalloped frets. And that gives the player a little more control over the dynamics of the vibrato and sustain and note bending that you can get up above the 12th fret. Down at the bridge end, those strings go over six little piezoelectric elements, pickups, RMC pickups, one for each string, and those six signals go out of a jack at the end of the instrument and into a box where they either get mixed down to one signal that makes a very faithful representation of the sound of the instrument, or they go out as six separate signals to control a guitar synthesizer or a MIDI device like that. So you can get all sorts of electronic sounds as well. There are 12 sympathetic harp strings, steel strings, they connect at the peg head end to a tuning peg. Each one goes over a little wooden nut, ebony nut, over or across this metal device here, which is operated from the back of the peg head. And raises or lowers the note of that string by half step. I'll flip it over so you can see what's going on back there. Each of these levers, a nice long handle in two positions. Called sharpening levers. So you can almost silently and quickly change the notes of the sympathetic string while you're playing. The sympathetic strings, harp strings, are attached to the other end each to one of these little fine tuning mechanisms, a little thumb screw, turns to very finely adjust the tuning. In order for them to work sympathetically, they do have to be very well in tune. They go over this bridge here, which is wood with a metal cap or table on it. The strings rest on that almost flat table, and when they get excited by sympathy or being plucked or strummed, they buzz. giving a sound which is rather like a, the sound found on a sitar or Indian tambura or esraj. They call that the jawari, the jawari bridge, and the sound is also the jawari. Literally means to give life. If I play notes on the main string, strings, you can hear, in this case, at least two of those strings ringing along. There's nothing plugged in now, there's no electronic effects. That's just what the sympathetic strings do. You can also strum or pluck them like a harp. Also play them using these little hammers up here that are suspended one above each string. A single tap of the hammer gives a single note. A harder tap and quick release gives a tremolo.
there's also a pickup in the sympathetic string bridge, piezo pickup, so that when you're amplifying the instrument, you can actually play around with the mix or the balance of the two sets of strings for some interesting effects. Another aspect of this instrument that may look as though it's initially just part of the aesthetic design, these round wooden discs actually have a purpose other than looks. On the underside of each of them is a little piezoelectric sensor attached, and when you tap on the disc, it sends a signal out through a wire here to control sounds on a MIDI device like a drum module. We have this currently plugged into an Alesis drum module. And let's see. Or alternately, you could get spacey with them. There's also a damping mechanism for the sympathetic strings. Just turning this lever rotates a little pillow to contact them so it gets them off. You can hear now I have the pickups turned on as well, so we're getting a lot of amplification. standard guitar woods. The top is Sitka spruce. Back and sides are Hawaiian koa. The neck is a bit unusual. It's redwood and I've done that to reduce the weight, overall weight. This neck or arm that supports the harp strings is walnut. There are bits of ebony here and there. The bridge is ebony. This piece here that supports the harp arm on the top is called ebony. This is it. And that's about all I have to say in today's tour of Taproot. But I hope that you will uh, keep your ear out for Jeff Titus, who is the owner of this instrument, new owner. And once he learns how to play it, I'm sure he will be recording, performing some wonderful music on it. So keep your ears out for that. And if you'd like to see more pictures of it, learn more about it, or see more about my work, Check out my website, beyondthetrees.com. Thanks a lot for listening. Mm -hmm.